So open data will bring more data into the credit scoring world, into the market with consent, and that can only be a good thing. Um, credit scores are only as good as the data that they're built on, and if you think back to 30 years when um, Experian was first starting out, the data available to credit scores was much narrower in extent than it is today. So for example, there were no mobile phone contracts in those days, there was no utilities data on the credit bureau, there was no rental data, just as examples. The addition of those data sources has enriched the credit scores and allowed them to become more accurate, uh, more predictive. Now, as more data becomes available through the Open Data Initiative, that will have a positive impact on credit scores and it will enable us to understand more about the behaviour of consumers and it will enable us to improve the scores and make better um, assessments of whether or not an individual is likely to get into trouble going forward. Now if you think about current account transaction data, which is the first wave, that really is shining a light on affordability and indebtedness because it's a very detailed view of income and expenditure as represented in a, in a current account. And that can be used both for credit scores and also for affordability assessments and different organisations will approach the problem differently. But historically the credit industry has looked at the willingness of an individual to pay and their ability to pay. So willingness is typically captured in a credit score, so what is the likelihood that this individual will get into trouble in the future? Having made that assessment, can they afford the repayments? So I might have a very good credit score, I might have disposable income of £50 a month, but if I'm applying for a product which has repayments of £100 a month, regardless of what my score says, I don't have the capacity to service that debt. So open data, specifically the current account transaction data, will help us be much more specific on those sorts of issues and that will definitely be of benefit to the consumers because it will allow more people who are eligible for the product and who have the capacity to repay to get them. Stepping back from that more broadly as other data sources come to the market, then that will just reinforce that, that process and it will enable us to build even more accurate uh, credit scores which eventually will allow more consumers to get access to the products and services that they need to run their lives. <laughs>